Casmere Mead, Party Indentation, Dear Lady Barbara, Please join us at the Dead End Bar in Divinity's Reach for a celebration of our victory over Scarlet. We'd really love it if you could attend. Rox and Bram have already sent an RSVP in the form of a bottle of char whiskey and a keg of Nord beer. You don't have to bring anything but your smile, though you'll probably want to wear a bit more than that. Casimir. What's wrong with my outfit? I guess I don't know. Here. Greetings, my friend. We're celebrating Scarlet's demise. It's good you could make it. <clears throat> Can you relax, Bram? Sit down. If you keep standing on that leg... Better ease up on that leg, B, or it won't heal right. It doesn't hurt anymore. Is that why you make that bear noise every time you sit down? That's just the spirit moving in me. <laughs> <laughs> A toast to the hero of the hour. And all. Yay! Oh, yeah. So, tell me, how did it feel to stomp the evil snot out of Scarlet? So tell us, how did it feel when you finished Scarlet for good? But don't make me laugh, my ribs are still sore. Like pulling a dandelion and getting the whole root. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you did not just. <laughs> Hi, what's so funny? Hey, who let the rabbit out of its cage? That's not funny. Join us, Tiny. We're celebrating our victory over Scarlet. Would you like some juice? I suppose we should celebrate while we still can. Oops. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Come on, kid. What are you talking about? You know, don't you? Scarlet wasn't just fooling around. You know something? Tell us. Don't hold anything back. We're all ears. You know Scarlet better than any of us. After all, you killed her. So what's Timey talking about? I think all of Tyria heard that dragon's cry. Is that what you think it was? A dragon? Oh, it would make so much sense to think that Scarlet was messing with the dragons. I believe that was her plan all along. Her drill caused one of them to stir. Yes, we heard it too. Which one do you think it was? Primordis? Falcatoric? Jormag? Do you think one is sleeping beneath Lion's Arch? No, I think Scarlet disturbed the ley lines, knowing they feed the dragons. I don't understand. The dragons consume magic. The ley lines are currents in an ocean of magic. And Scarlet threw a giant rock in that pool, sending ripples out to the dragon. It makes sense. You're brilliant. I've been crafting this theory and assembling the pieces for a while now. Much as I loathe to even entertain the idea, I do believe. And here we thought Scarlet was the worst of our problems. I'm not afraid of no dragon. Bran, I'll have to take you to the Bran sometime. No single warrior can stand alone against a dragon. Fortunately, we have each other. <laughs> <laughs> what? With you on our team, Squeak, how could we possibly lose? Make me laugh. Hey, that's my line. We'd better feed that bear before it decides we're food. I requested a roast chicken from the kitchen. We'll eat soon. Little 
Miss Margie, have you any idea how difficult you've been making my life? Mother never shuts up about you. I told you never to call me that. <laughs> you've told me lots of things, sis. Sis? Jory, is this your sister? Yes. <laughs> Come on in, Belinda. Say hello to my friends. It would be my pleasure. Hi, Marjorie's friends. You're the <clears throat> band that took out Scarlet. I'm honored to meet you all. <clears throat> Congratulations on killing Scarlet. That Silvari was trouble with a capital T. So how are you? You're looking a little skinny. <laughs> oh, gods, don't tell Mama that. Besides, look at you, getting fat in that cushy new serif post of yours. Oh, I don't think she's fat at all. Why, thank you. My sister's always been jealous of my voluptuous figure. She used to call me Big Belly. Only because you called me Little Miss Margie. Like I was some snooty noble or something. Oh, you were snooty. Marjorie used to order me and all the other kids around, even though she was the youngest. What's this about Mama fretting? Oh, you know how she gets. And when she heard you'd been in a fight against Scarlet, well... She sent you to check on me. I'm to report back this evening. I can't stay long, my dear. I'm just here to count your limbs and listen to your heart. So, how is your heart? Strong as ever. What do you think of Casimir? She's beautiful and charming, but... Isn't she from a noble family? She used to be. Her family lost its titles under tragic circumstances. She's one of us now. She works for me. I see. Well, in that case, I wish you and her every happiness. I can see that you care deeply for her. Yes, I do. Congratulations. I'm happy for you. I heard you dealt the killing blow to Scarlet. You have my respect and gratitude. Margie's told me a lot about you. She really respects you, you know. I appreciate that you've got her back. She's always been such a loner. We have a good team. So, you're a Seraph, huh? That's right. I'm posted at Fort Selma, but in a week, they're sending me on a long expedition into the Brisbane Wildlands. I came home to see my mother before we leave. That's a lot of adventuring for a seraph, isn't it? Yes, it is, but we're after a group of black market traders who've been disrupting the economy here in the city. Our reports say that that's where they're headquartered. Safe journey, then. Goodbye, everyone. It was so nice to meet you all. Until we meet again. Stop. Did you get in trouble for roaming the camp? No. Yes. Zoja gave me extra calculations as a punishment, and I never got to see Scarlet. Sounds like Zoja cares about you. No, she doesn't. She cares about her record. If I do well, it reflects positively on her as my college mentor. So you don't like Zoja's college? I was not designed to be in synergetics. I was designed for statics. I don't know what that means. It means I'd rather make stuff than talk about making stuff. Oh, yeah. Me too. Must be nice to have a sister. about the new aether phaser I invented for my golem? I modeled it after Scarlet's tech. Uh-huh. It works just fine, but I have to keep adjusting the gorometer. Uh-huh. I had to shave down the Minius array wheel in order to get it to fit on Scruffy, but I got it. Uh-huh. 
Next, I'm gonna make him a panmetric listening device so he can warn me in advance if someone's sneaking up on me. Uh-huh. Hey, Bram. Uh-huh. I like you. Because you're big and dumb. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I personally reported your victory over Scarlet to Logan Thackeray. He sends his regards. That was kind of you. It was purely selfish. For the first time in my life, I actually feel sincere when I brag about the people I fight beside. I never felt that in the Ministry Guard. Why did you quit the Guard anyway? It's a long story. Perhaps for another day. I'll just say that I overstayed my welcome. Did they kick you out? No, I quit of my own accord. <laughs> I guess I couldn't take the political games anymore. I'm a simple woman. Right and wrong, truth and lies. I'm not a fan of Grey. Their loss is our gain. This whole dragon thing has me a little sick to my stomach. Why can't they just go back to sleep? It's complicated. Say, are those your roses? Yes, isn't Jory sweet? She got them for me. Because she's proud of how I stood up to Scarlet. As she should be. How are you after all that? I... I still can't believe it was me. And you. You were amazing. We fielded everything she threw at us. It was like we were one... It was like we were of one mind. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, sure you could have. All I did was distract her a bit. You're the one she was really afraid of. Feels good to overcome evil. I never thought, until I met Jory and you, that I'd be the kind of person who'd ever overcome evil. I've noticed something, though. My hiccups are gone. You're braver than you think. I bet you're wondering why Frostbite and I are hiding out in a human bar in a human city. Not especially. We were all invited. Well, since you asked... Frostbite is afraid to report to Ritlock, since we didn't actually help kill Scarlet exactly. I've been ignoring his summons. I don't know if I'm ashamed, or scared, or... Why are you afraid? Surely he'll understand. It's a char thing. Technically, he could get me for disobeying an order. What? You mean court, mar court martial, right? No, I mean it's within his right to kill me on the spot for disobeying his direct order. And besides, I I don't think I want to join his warband. Not after everything that happened. Change of heart? I met all of you now. If I join the Stone Warband, well, I'm afraid all of this would have to end, and I don't want that. You've helped me in so many ways. I. Rox, you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. I just never imagined that I'd be this happy. I found my own warband, and all of you, you and Bram, have helped me in so many ways. If Nonus could see me now... Nonus? Have you mentioned him before? My... my mate. He died during a cave-in. My entire warband died that day, actually. Rufinus, Skewer... Remember back in the mine. How I said I was afraid of explosions? Oh, Rox. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's been a long time. But standing here now, I'm okay. I'll never not miss Nonus. I'll miss him with all of my being, but... Now I have all of you. I found my own warband. Aww. Hey. You really believe that stuff about Scarlet Poke and the Dragon? Yeah, I do. Well, you've got it right. Scarlet wanted to reach a dragon, and she succeeded. Quite impressive when you stop to think about it. I have a theory about why, but what do you think? Why do our greatest minds ever do anything in order to know, to learn, and to understand? I think she was more practical than she let on. Or more crazy. I'm gonna guess she was hoping to make a dragon or two mad so they would attack. Don't matter. All that matters is she's dead now. How's your leg? It's okay. Better. I'm ignoring it. My legend is in the bog, and I can't believe I have to wait for this leg to get better. It's 
making me as crazy as Scarlet. Your legend isn't in the bog. Sure it is. I might as well be starting from scratch. I'll go down in history as the guy who couldn't hold his own in the fight against Scarlet. Not true. One fight doesn't make or break a legend. I told you so. I told you all. I knew Scarlet had grand plans, but did you listen? No. And now, there's at least one dragon, maybe more, who want to destroy all of Tyria. You also told us Scarlet was fascinating. I didn't lie. She was. Okay, maybe I underestimated just how dangerous she was, but that's a minor thing. I just wanted to see her lab, and maybe be her apprentice for a while. She'd have killed you. I know that. That's why I didn't do it, silly. You're right about her grand plans, though. Here. Yeah, this is the page. Letter from Dad. Marjorie. I didn't want to intrude, but when your sister told me she was going to stop by the bar, I wanted to write hello. This is your father. I know we haven't spoken in a while, but your mother isn't feeling well. Elise is seven months pregnant and can't help with the house much, and Mariel is already running the shop with my growing absences. I'm trying not to be intrusive here, and I'm not trying to make demands. Your mother would just like to see you. I would like to see you too. I hope you're recovering. We pray to the six every night that you'd make it home alive. Casimir too. We'd love to meet her someday if you'd like that. Best dad.